through a game last time where we were kind of quiet in the first half, but then you come close to a triple double, mm. and the feeling out process, especially kind of with this team and conversations with Cheryl and how you kind of find that groove in a, in a win. Yeah, I mean, I think I just let the game come to me. I don't go out there and try and force things. I kind of just take what the defense gives me. So if the shot opens up, if the pass opens up, whatever it is that, again, that the defense gives me, that's what I try to take. And I want to talk about, you know, your mid-range game a lot, but rebounding has also been a mm. huge part for you, too. How has that kind of developed throughout your, your entire life to be such a good mm. rebounding guard and the value? You yeah. I mean, I think because I wasn't getting the ball <laughs> and I had to kind of find my own offense, so I think when – um, you understand you can go get your team extra possessions and kind of get the ball in your hand to go get busy. You know, you go get extra rebounds, it, it make it easier. Courtney, as this team finds more success as mm. you're pushing through games, how do you kind of um, you know, come into a game tonight where teams being challenged by injuries mm. and kind of get that fire that you need to have to um, come out the way you need to to get a win? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we take no game lightly. Um, we understand that every team is trying to come in here and win, and we want to protect home floor. So um, I don't think we need much motivation. Do you feel like there's, you know, there's that that difference between like we've talked to a couple players who feel like mm, there's a chip on your shoulder, feeling like you're not talked about as much, but do you mm -hmm. also feel like there's a target on your back too because you are one of the top teams in the mm -hmm. league? And how do you kind of approach that? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really even worry about that kind of stuff. I just want to win. So whatever that look like, you know, you gotta. Block out the noise, let folks say what they're going to say. Um, they had us at nine at the beginning of the season. Now all of a sudden we're a contender. People are going to rock with the waves, so you can't even feed into all of that. How much fun is this role that you're on right now, though? What is it, six and one in your last seven? Mm -hmm. I mean, again, we just trying to win, so it's always fun when you win it, right? Uh, it, it's how we show up when we face adversity. So um, um, I think we just trying to stay together. Um, I think you saw that the last game we was down, um, and we just stuck it out. We played our basketball, and we came out with the win. So. Um, like I said, not too high, not too low, just playing miss, playing our basketball. How's the transition been so seamless for you? Or has it not been as seamless? Yeah, it's, no, it's it has not been. Right? I ain't going to lie, it's been kind of rough for me, but I think I'm just soaking as much in that I can, just learning from all these people around me, um, building the chemistry with my teammates. And, again, experience is always the best teacher. So playing games and games and games, I think, is just helping me get more and more comfortable. When you say rough, though, what, what's been so rough? I mean, everything, <laughs> you know, I, it's, playing a point guard position is a change of a mentality, right? At the two spot, I come out and I just know I got to go get a bucket. At the one spot, I got to go out there and know where everybody's supposed to be. I got to make sure everybody's touching the ball. And I got to try not to turn the ball over while I'm doing all of that. So uh, it, it's an adjustment for sure, but I'm getting more and more comfortable. Lan said uh, the other day that she feels like there's just this underlying confidence with how efficient the offense is, that even mm. if something doesn't quite work right one time, you just know you're going to get it back again. Mm. Do you kind of feel that energy too? And, and oh, how do yeah. you identify that? Yeah, um, I think we get the ball movement. Um, I think when you when you know that the ball is going to touch everybody and you know that like you don't have somebody on your team that's like a ball stopper, um, I think that gives you that confidence in knowing like, all right, maybe I didn't touch the ball this possession, but I know the next play, we're going to get it moving. And I think that's a big thing for our team. Like, it don't matter who has the ball or who taking the shot. We all just want to take the best shot. And how about the defense? I mean, did I see 17 steals on Friday? Where? That's how many we had? I, I ain't even know that. I mean, I think that's our identity. We want to make sure, because we know every time we come out there, we might not be shooting the ball at the best of our ability. So we can always lean on our defense. And I think that's how we want our identity to come across every time we step on the floor.